Bill O'Reilly here, Wednesday, October 9th, 2019. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Here's what's happening today in America. President Trump will not cooperate with the House Democrats in the impeachment push. The federal deficit hits nearly $1 trillion this year alone. The U.S. military confirming the death of a senior al-Qaeda leader in Afghanistan. China punishing the NBA over a pro-democracy tweet. A new survey shows younger Americans resent wealthy people. Also ahead, the message, will Americans really vote for radical left politicians? But first, President Trump vowing to block the impeachment push calling the effort, quote, totally illegitimate. Mr. Trump sending a letter to the top three House committee chairmen saying the White House considers their investigations constitutionally invalid. The White House signaling it will not accept the attack and will fight back. Federal deficit hitting levels not seen in years, rising to $984 billion this year alone, According to the Congressional Budget Office, the debt is rising because of a series of factors including tax cuts, increased military spending, and trade problems. The U.S. military confirming the death of a senior al-Qaeda member in Afghanistan, the Pentagon releasing new details of a top-secret raid in Taliban-controlled territory that killed 26 terrorists, including Asim Omar, the mastermind behind a series of attacks in India and Pakistan. The news of Omar's death comes on the 18th anniversary of the war in Afghanistan. Chinese government punishing the National Basketball Association after the general manager of the Houston Rockets posted a pro-Hong Kong tweet on social media. Beijing now blocking a broadcast of NBA games and severing ties with the league, saying the comments are, quote, challenging to the country's sovereignty and stability. New survey from the Cato Institute reveals an increasing number of younger Americans resent the wealthy. Poll finds 52% of adults under the age of 30 in the USA believe rich people got their money by taking advantage of other people. In a moment, Elizabeth Warren becomes the Democratic frontrunner for president. But what exactly is her vision for the country? Right back with that. Do you suffer from sleep apnea and use a CPAP machine? If you do, you need to know about So Clean. So Clean is the world's first automated CPAP cleaner and sanitizer. So Clean kills up to 99.9% of all CPAP germs and bacteria that can build up in your mask, hose, and reservoir. It's easy to use, works with all the popular CPAP machines and masks. Just put your mask on, close the lid, and walk away. It uses advanced technology to sanitize your CPAP equipment and is the safer, healthier way to breathe cleaner and have a better CPAP experience. Right now, for Bill O'Reilly listeners, you can try So Clean risk-free for 30 nights. Even shipping is free. So don't wait. Please call one 800 520 one two seven nine, or go to SoClean.com to take advantage of this thirty-night risk-free trial and free shipping. Again, that number one eight hundred five two zero one two seven nine, or go to SoClean.com today. Time now for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. According to an average of polling on Real Clear Politics, Senator Elizabeth Warren has overtaken Joe Biden as a Democratic front-runner. The former vice president is being hurt by the Ukraine controversy, and Ms. Warren has been helped by Bernie Sanders having a heart attack. The senator from Massachusetts is a far-left politician, no doubt about it, who sees the USA as a country that needs vast improvement. Here are some of Elizabeth Warren's proposals. Universal health care. The senator's plan hopes to provide free child care for all Americans earning less than $50,000 and subsidize care for millions of others. Cost $70 billion per year. Free college tuition. 
and student debt forgiveness. She would provide tuition-free public colleges and eliminate student debt for 95% of Americans. That means the feds would use tax dollars to pay off the loans. Cost? $640 billion in the first year, $1.25 trillion over the next decade. Senator Warren supports a Green New Deal that would eliminate fossil fuel production, retrofit housing, cut carbon emissions, and promote renewable energy through vast government subsidies. Between $52 trillion and $93 trillion over 10 years. Now, that amount of money cannot possibly be raised through taxation or anything else. So it would lead to more national debt right now. America owns $22 trillion. Senator Warren also supports a 2% ultra-wealth tax. The proposal calls for 2% on every dollar for all accounts greater than $50 million, and that includes housing, art, anything. 3% on every dollar over $1 billion. For example, a person with a net savings of $90 million dollars would be taxed 2% every year on $40 million, totaling a federal fee yearly of $800,000 on top of what that person already pays. The plan could raise $2.7 trillion, but it is likely unconstitutional as it would be a seizure of private property. Senator Warren would also like to break up big tech. Corporations like Amazon, Google, Facebook, by slowly unraveling pre-existing mergers like the one between Amazon and Whole Foods. Summing up, if Senator Warren is elected president, the U.S. economy would likely collapse, as capital would flee overseas from both corporations and wealthy individuals. Unemployment would rise with the destruction of the energy industry and the assault on high tech. But how many Americans believe that? That is the question for 2020 as Senator Elizabeth Warren becomes the frontrunner of the Democratic Party. And that's the message. Please check out my latest book, The United States of Trump. We posted an excerpt on BillOReilly.com where I do a TV program every night. I hope you check that out. Up next, something you might not know. You know those robocalls you get? The ones saying you're pre-approved for a home loan or a credit card? Look out. Scammers may be trying to steal your home. More to the point, trying to steal the title to your home. It happened to a buddy of mine. Here's how it goes down. Thieves hack into computers that hold the legal documents to our homes. Then they forge them. So it looks like you actually sold your home. Then they go to unscrupulous lenders and borrow money until your equity is gone. Look, your home equity is your security for life, your emergency cash in retirement. So guard it with Home Title Lock. Home Title Lock helps keep thieves away from your home's online title and mortgage. If you've gotten calls stating you're pre-approved for a loan or a credit card, go to HomeTitleLock.com and enter your address to see if you're already a victim. You might be. And when you're at HomeTitleLock.com, I got you two months of risk-free protection. So please go to HomeTitleLock.com, HomeTitleLock.com. Now the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. Planet Earth is home to some incredible creatures, crows that can make tools, ants with a knack for architecture, elephants, that grieve the loss of family members, not to mention smart animals like dolphins and chimpanzees. But Mother Nature also has produced some pretty dumb species. Here's a look at some animals that will not be going to Harvard anytime soon. First up, pandas. There are currently less than 2,000 in the wild. Turns out they don't care much for their own existence. 60% of male pandas exhibit no desire to procreate. If a panda cub is born, there's a good chance the mother will accidentally kill it. Not a great home environment. Next, koalas. While they may look cute, koalas have the smallest brain of any mammal. 
making up only 2% of their entire body weight. Koala's diet consists mainly of poisonous eucalyptus leaves, which are incredibly difficult to digest. Some koalas have been known to eat themselves in the wild. The kakapu, a rare flightless bird found in New Zealand, is dumb. There are only 150 in existence. These large birds eat from the forest floor and freeze when sensing a nearby predator. Their biggest enemy, cats. The birds don't run away from cats. Therefore, the birds are killed and not smart. And here's something you might not know. According to anecdotal evidence, the turkey is generally considered one of the dumbest creatures on Earth. But it turns out turkeys are more intelligent than their reputation suggests. Great hearing, better eyesight than humans, and they can run up to 25 miles per hour. A wild turkey can even memorize a 1,000-acre territory in detail. Go ahead, give them a quiz. Benjamin Franklin advocated for the turkey to become the official animal of the United States, calling them birds of courage. Consider that when pouring the gravy on Thanksgiving. Back after this. I have been telling you about a first-time buyer in Texas. Now I want to show you the other side. A seller who found an agent on realestateagentsitrust.com. A home seller in a very hot market needed to relocate quick. Their agent suggested the following steps. One, price the home just below similarly priced homes in the area to ensure high demand with multiple offers. Two, stage the home so that it stood out with great pictures, no clutter, and great curb appeal. Three, market aggressively to fellow agents providing a timeline for accepting offers. This created a big sense of urgency for buyers interested in the home. Four, their agent reviewed the offers quickly, communicated with the owners about the caliber of the offers, strong financing, cash, closing date, so many factors to consider. And five, after just three days on the market, the sellers got 5% over their asking price, and the buyer agreed to pay closing costs. This is why you need a great agent from realestateagentsitrust.com. Get the job done. Get moving. realestateagentsitrust.com. That's realestateagentsitrust.com. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you.